So the Visionaries came to be because we were looking at ways that we can empower internally, that we, what can we do to start to move the needle and get our team involved and make decisions. And we formed the group. It was nominations from our senior leaders is how we got involved. And from there, we expanded into what we wanted to do. How did we want to contribute to our company, our organization, and make it better, not just for ourselves, but for everybody, current and future growth also. As we started moving forward with different ideas, it was, um, what is it we want this to be? How did we envision the visionary group to be? What did it mean to us? And then that's how it started to form into what we wanted to do from an organization's perspective, from ourselves. A lot of us looked at um, some of the key things, working remote. Hey, we need be uh, not only do we need the benefits, but we also need better office budgets, you know, to be a little bit more flexible there. Or we need to make it comfortable living and working in the same space, or if they wanted a co-working space. We took it from that perspective, from a career growth opportunity also. What did we have? We were a small organization. So some people might see that as, because you're small, there's no opportunities for growth. You're not, you're, you're stuck in your position. The only way you're gonna move up is if that person ahead of you leaves. That's not the mentality that any of us thought of. And we wanted to make sure that everybody knew what their career path could be, what it could look like, even for a small organization. And that's where it started to grow. We really hit the ground running earlier on, and then because we didn't have a structure or um, a roadmap as to what the visionary group was, then that's where we really said, okay, we need to take a step back. We need to build out what this process, what does this, what do we expect going forward? What should others use as a baseline as to um, be able to apply their thoughts and their ideas in a way that they don't get burnt out? But it's a, it's a one-year term. So let's get it spread out so that you're continually making those improvements throughout the year and no one's being overwhelmed or anything like that. So that was a big piece of it and that's where we spent the second half is really developing what the program meant to us and what it was to us, what our expectations were. Our engagement survey was a big piece of it was to say, where could we do better? What do we want? What do, what do us want as individuals also? So for me, it was my family. So one of the things was the benefits. Um, being able to make it make a change that impacted anybody with family. We had amazing benefits to begin with for employees. Now it's even better for those with families as well. I think what I was most proud of was the job catalog. Um, being able to show others, there is this growth, there is this opportunity. We are setting ourselves up for success. We are building in trainings, you know, it's, Coming from bigger organizations, all, the, all of our departments were still small. It was a one or two man team. And so we, even then in big organizations, we felt there wasn't those growth opportunities and there was always lacking in training, in those mentorships, because we were just moving too fast. Here we are trying to invest back in the people and make sure that they know you do have a path. We do have a training plan. We do have a, compensation. We, we are transparent about the, what those ranges are for the jobs. So if you wanted to see what it might take to get to that next level, well, here you go. Here it's laid out. We're transparent about it. To me, that was, that that's where a lot of it came from is I can have the same job. That's fine. That's great. But I want to know that I'm going to grow within that job. I want to be proud of the work I do and know that that others also are going to be proud of their work, whether they're in the same title or they move up. And that's, to me, what the job catalog was able to develop. The most challenging thing coming into the Visionaries for me was, was getting out of my comfort zone. And I knew, I'm loud. I've always known I've had a voice. But making sure I was utilizing it in that level five leadership kind of way that I was being strategic. I wasn't thinking of just myself. I was thinking of others. Um, other people have different thoughts and might have a different opinion on one of my suggestions. But that, and that's, that's what part of the visionaries and being a leader is, is listening to those other thoughts and not being, feeling like you're shot down, but all right, I hear you. Now, how can we combine this? How can we make it better? And you need those other, those other ideas. And that's where, that was my biggest thing was to get out of that comfort zone. So I need others to hear my voice and my thoughts and my opinions.
be your wonderful personalities. Let it shine. Be, be open to those conversations. Um, to have your opinion heard and know that it's going to be heard. Everybody respects the heck out of everybody else. So don't hold back and because what you feel is important, it is important to everybody else and that's what at the end of the day is going to make great decisions, great programs if we get everybody's views, true views on, uh, on the different ideas that come up because that's what's gonna make it work for everybody else.